Um, performing uh, as a solo performer probably three or four years on my own now um, in a band quite a long time, about eight to ten years, if not longer. Some modern influences recently, um, people like Frank Hamilton, who um, I studied alongside, brilliant songwriter, um, Newton Faulkner, fantastic songwriter. Um, but a lot of it just comes from my experiences and what I generally see from day to day, um, something I read in a magazine or something I read in a book, um, just people as well. Diagnosed with cancer of the colon in 2004, and I had cancer of the colon and basically had it all treated and got rid of, and I decided that I didn't want to work in an office anymore, I wanted to do something I love, and I'm doing it, so it's the best thing I've ever done. Every Tear um, was a song, basically, I was watching my daughter walk, just as she first started walking, um, tinkling away on the piano um, at home, trying to reach our out, extremely out of tune piano and trying to make noises out of it, and um, she turns on the lights in, in the rooms, because it's just, you know, they're all, at that age, they're just into everything. Um, so all my three girls have inspired that song because it's all about them and how I see them day to day and how they interact with the world in general. Drink to Maybe is kind of about um, life without uh, a certain male-female interaction. <laughs> sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and that's kind of a... It, it was about a, a dry spot, I suppose. <laughs>